What's happening YouTube? This is Amari here bringing you a video in relation to the uh, latest power save update that allows you to modify uh, your Pokemon's IVs. Uh, so as you know this code was uh, both removed and um, re-added. Uh, I think due to the power save servers just keep crashing and load when people just kept trying to constantly change their IVs but now it's been brought back. Um, as you notice as well this is also a new layout that um, I will be releasing to you guys free to use so you can use it in your videos, your Twitch layout, you're more than welcome you see so there'll be a link uh, in the description to the PSD file for this uh, overlay but without further ado let's get to the main point of this video so as you can see uh, the Pokemon in question that we're going to modify is the Jolly Tyranitar uh, that uh, according to the IV checker has one perfect IV in speed um, this is not an ordinary Tyranitar as you'll uh, see from the ribbon though because it is the uh, event uh, Japanese Tyranitar that came with Ice Punch and uh, normally under normal circumstances Ice Punch is a fifth gen only move so uh, to have a competitive Pokemon like this and get good IVs is really important. So a code like this is really, really handy uh, for event Pokemon because you can, obviously you can't guarantee their IVs. Now, um, of course, there are other uh, gadgets out there like the Cyber Gadget Save Editor that you can use to achieve uh, these results. However, uh, you know, that obviously adds some difficulty to the matter because you require a Japanese uh, 3DS cart, possibly a Japanese 3DS if you need to make any changes to the save, if you need to... Uh, which obviously requires Japanese 3DS, obviously, and uh, yeah, and things like that, and the device itself, obviously. So uh, yeah, so it's not worth it for me it personally, or for people who already have a power save to chuck money at that, you know. So, and of course, uh, some people watching this video are like, "Oh my God, you fucking cheater!" Ah, you know, n none of that, honestly. You know, you know, sometimes like yes, breeding is e easier in the sixth generation, but you know, it's. Uh, much of a much is sometimes to get six IV Pokemon if you're trying to read a mixed attacker it can be really really difficult and let's face it um, you know the defense for uh, cheating as some might say is I don't see it as cheating as long as I'm making a Pokemon within the legal perimeters of the game itself so yeah but that's a topic for another time I just want to get straight into this to show you guys to see if it works or not so um so that is the Pokemon uh, in question so this is in uh, box one slot one so, yep, just making sure it's the correct box. You want to make sure, obviously, it's in the correct box. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to uh, save the game. And as you can see uh, in the screen below, I have my power save waiting for the game to be inserted. So we're just going to turn the power off to the uh, DS. And then inject the game. Insert it into the power save. and then select the codes. So we just need to wait for the codes to initialize and be loaded from the server. And you'll see down here IV codes. Now uh, you can set them to whatever you want, I think, in the selection. Uh, there's different IVs, obviously you can see 0, 1, 30 and 31. And that's useful because, say for example, you breed a special attacker and you know there's no point in having attack. Uh, you would want to put it at zero attack, for example. Um, we're not going to do that today, but for for instance, zero attack is useful, obviously, for special attackers that I just mentioned, or zero speed might be useful. Zero speed is definitely useful for trick room if you want to guarantee that you're the slowest thing in trick room, and zero attack is useful for minimizing foul play damage altogether, which on a Pokemon like to say, for example, Alakazam, is very, very useful. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's just get straight back to it. Um, as you can see down here, there's another code, uh, 31 IV codes, um, and make sure you have the Pokemon in the correct slot. So 31 IVs, this should make the Pokemon 6 IV. Uh, so we're going to hit click apply, and we'll just wait for the uh, uh, power save to do its thing. Now, um, the other thing, what was I going to talk about? Oh yes, obviously, as I mentioned before, uh, you know there are easier methods of doing this to a, to a certain extent. Um, yeah, obviously, I mentioned before, uh, the Cyber Gadget Save Editor um, in use of PK Hex. Uh, but obviously, again, that requires a Japanese 3DS, a Japanese 3DS game of X or Y, and the Cyber Gadget Save Editor itself. And uh, as I also mentioned before, again, you know, a power, I already have a power save, so why spend the money on two devices? So, uh, yeah. So we're just going to wait for this, uh, obviously, to download, and then we're going to go check what we're going to do after this is uh, uh, what we're going to do. Yeah, what we're going to do after this is go to Wi-Fi just to make sure that the Pokemon works, because the uh, 
The way to test to see if this is actually works properly is to test the Pokemon to see if it works on Wi-Fi to see if it passes hack checks. Which we all know in uh, the 6th generation are a little bit um, all over the place. There are some form of signature checks in, in the sense that Pokemon uh, that can't be caught yet or obtained, like say Hooper for example, or um, Pokemon that are impossible to be shiny, such as Xerneas and uh, Zygarde for example, uh, they can't be traded. Okay, so that's done. So I'm going to uh, take the game out of the power save right now. But, uh, yeah, as I was mentioning before. Uh, and the reason they can't be traded, those Pokemon at least, uh, that I was mentioning before, is the fact that obviously they are, they are not uh, possible in-game. So that's a very obvious hack for the game to detect. Uh, as we've known before, power save shiny transforming does not affect the legality of Pokemon on Battle Spot from what we've seen so far, but IVs may be a different ball game. So that's one thing we're going to today. Uh, a test today, rather. So one thing we will do now is we'll go and withdraw that Triantar from the box and see if this works properly. Turn up the base. So we're going to use the Cloud IV Checker to see uh, whether or not the code has worked. Let's look at the IV checker. Check out the Tyranitar. Let's see what he says. Outstanding potential. Yep, that's what we expected. So he says HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. So that's good. But the question is now, will it work on Wi-Fi? Uh, so we're going to go to Battle Spot in the game. And try that out. Just wait for the internet. Patience is virtue. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, again, let's try and avoid the Oh my god, you are a fucking cheater! Blah 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 bullcrap. So I will go to a random match, make a raining battle. And prove yes, right, right, right. Give me a sleep card. Double. Yes, register. This is a friend's cartridge. Yeah. So say, uh, in party. Challenge. And success, it does seem to work. That's all you really need to do to make sure it works. Uh, just to make sure if the game doesn't spit out a rejection for you on, on, on Battle Spot. But uh, again, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, this video was a little bit longer than I uh, anticipated it would be. But uh, yeah, this pretty much confirms that the IV codes work properly in Power Save and uh, that they are indeed safe to use on Wi Fi. So uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, take care.